Okay. Enad is with How us. Enad, let's roll fast. There, we're throwing the fastball. Got baseball throwing right. fastball, no right. curveballs. How many days you've been outdoors this week? Uh, four. Four out of five. Yeah, four out of five. Not bad with the weather we've had, huh? Yeah. Good workouts. Uh, the team might be young. How young are these guys? Pretty young. Yeah. Pretty green. Pretty green. Mm -hmm. Pretty green. By Saturday really morning, green. by Saturday morning, what do you expect out of this team? You go to Eastern Guilford Saturday. What do you expect by Saturday? Knock the dust off, get a feel for the game. You know, stuff we worked on. Were some of these guys ready when they showed up for practice? Yeah, they were. Yeah. No real way, way, way back beginners. Most of these guys had something going when they got there. Yeah, they had a good uh, fall program. I mean, there's some guys who are raw, but we're they're. they're do you have at least all. two pitchers? Yes. Who yeah. are they? On varsity? No, you're, I'm talking about your team. Oh, um, at least two pitchers. There's a kid, a, a freshman named Justin Whitestone, who, who's a lefty. He has good potential. He's a pitcher. Does he get the ball Saturday for that first game? I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Well, then, then a couple guys who were uh, really about five pitchers, but yeah, you, you know, feel pretty good about yeah. your chance of those guys. Yeah, we got we need some innings up. Ready for Saturday? You think team is ready? Yeah, I think they're ready to play some baseball. We, we scrimmaged. I think up. we got a Quickly, let's, let's first base. Who's going to start Saturday? We got start lineup. Can we do start? Can lineup? we do varsity? Let's do JV. You're doing JV, right? I thought you were JV coach. Uh, yeah. I, right, I, um, I don't give you that way for varsity. JV, who starts the first base? Tevin Austin, who has a lot of potential. He came from Grimsley. Tevin Austin. He's a sophomore. Second base. Um, CJ Mobley. CJ Mobley. No. And there's a kid named Paul, who uh, it'll be. We have about three middle infielders. Yeah, you guys so, got to road move around. Yeah, Shortstop. Yeah. Uh, Jared Carter. Jared or Carter. you might see Mobley over he there. He might move over there. Yeah. Third base. Third base, uh, Nick Thompson, who is uh, – he's pretty talented. So, Nick Thompson he's a gets a call there. Okay. Yeah. What about – and left field. No, but third base. Let's still leave third. Third base. Uh, Nick Thompson. Thompson third. in left field. Um, we don't know yet. To be determined. To be, to be determined. How about center field? That's one of your main spots. Whitestone. Whitestone. He's also catching a or center field. Okay. What about left right? field and right field? We're not sure. Right field to be determined. Yeah. Who's yeah. the catcher? He's right in the middle. You've got to have a good guy. Matt here. Gord, who's a sophomore, and he's Matt solid. Matt Gord, he's strong. Yeah. yeah. And the starting pitcher on Saturday again will be Whitestone? I'm thinking so. Mm -hmm. The uh, – there's a kid named uh, Julian Cruz, and he he's the backup catcher. He can play third. He's a, he's probably be the DH and play the field. He's a great fielder. But he's, guys he's one of the around. best nine. Gotcha. I mean, yeah. top so. nine. Okay. Shane Drew chat Thursday. Sports and focus. He had a dad with us. What are some of the things you guys have been working on these past couple weeks, trying to get this team ready for Saturday? Uh, base running, pickoff moves, defense, uh, you know, uh, rundowns, stuff like that. What's the difference in coaching these young guys as opposed okay. to coaching those adults? You're coaching younger guys, little guys um, now. You know, you usually coach adults Greensboro, in the adult baseball league. Greensboro Reds, uh, more managing. Um, Western Guilford, a lot more JV, teaching, coach, a lot more teaching, and and the main thing is uh, you know feeding it, feeding it to them so they can receive it properly. What we're teaching, you know, what things stay so, the same at both levels. Some of the things have to stay the same. It's all between the lines, as they say. Yeah. Uh, what's the same for me? Same with the young guys the as the old guys. Some of the things. Stay I mean, the I'm same. just trying to build relationships and camaraderie. That's get that you know, going. So I just have to reinvent it on on the different level and uh, you know just be very you know a, a lot of them don't know where to go you know that I'm trying to have very organized practices mm -hmm. like hey um, you know you're gonna throw with this guy every practice you know shortstop and second base you throw every practice and then we split them up in four groups and this is your group one through four so when I call you out you know where to go so stuff like that. how do you balance your time now you're a businessman as well as a coach um, and a teacher in some ways how do you balance your time now it might be a big test you're yeah. Uh, time well, that was the, that was the thing was what could my job allow? First, I said there's no way in my head, but I did not say no to them. I wanted to just sit on it, and I wanted to do it in my heart. And my mother, who I have a business with, I said. I don't want to leave you here alone, and you know we're transitioning over to me. So far, how's the next going? couple of years? So it's good. It's good. She said, "Do what you love." She says, "You need to be out there helping those kids." So I said, "If you are okay with it, then I'll go do it." First so. game. 
date for the regular season for the JVs? When is the first? February 29th against Northeast. Early next week, it'll be like Monday. Monday. Against Northeast. Yes. At Western at Northeast. At Western Guilford. It'll be a big night for you there, big day. Yes. Big yes. afternoon. Yeah. Uh, do the two programs at Western kind of interchange any players or ideas of ours to the JV? Interchange any players, any change any ideas? Same philosophy, same ideas? Um, yeah, yeah. The uh, Coach Wood. It's phenomenal, the head coach. Uh, coach Simonetti, I got I have Mark Nails out there who plays on the Reds, Alex Swim. I mean Adam Swim. We're all in agreement on how we coach. It's all the same flavor. We have a tremendous unity. That's one of the things I'm most excited about is the is the coaching staff we have. What coaches do you draw from as far as what you use now, the coaches you've had over the years? What coaches do you draw information from that you've been with over the years? Well, like we said, you know, before I've told you, I've learned more through almost 10 years at the Reds from my players. Just the guys you've but been But Alan Ashkenazi yep. taught me a lot. Got to I mean, get on that phone one night. You need some help. Who do you call? Who are you going to call? Who would I call? Yeah, might need. You got a question? You don't want to show. I'm going to call. You don't call you don't I'm going to call Chris Eggers. Chris Eggers. You don't want to show us anybody else. I got a situation. I need some help on. I'm not telling anybody. Else. Okay. My priority call goes to Chris Eggers. Well, I've been talking to Eggers a lot mm -hmm. because he is um, former Grimsley coach. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, he's yeah. went through. We have a he relationship. Did he did it. He sure did. Uh, who would I talk? I would call my. I would call Coach Wood first. I would call my head he, coach. You don't even want to call him. This is a, you, I got a little fine. I got a fine tune. This baby, I'm calling Eggers, right? I'd probably call Chris Eggers. Eggers is a man. Mark him down. <laughs> How about uh, baseball for beginners? And uh, is that what you're teaching now? Or are you teaching something a little bit different with these guys? I mean, to be honest with you, some of them don't know the basics. But I've heard this at different schools. I've called around to see. Find it out. But we have, we have. Uh, you know, I'm trying to connect with Kernodal and Guilford Middle. But there's about four or five kids coming for Kernodal feeder programs. Yes. So I have to, you know. And in the summer league, I can go out and go to college games and meet people. Here, I have to do it through, you know, what, seventh and eighth grade. What's been the toughest job so far? The toughest part of this job so far? What's been the toughest thing so far about this JV coaching job? The toughest thing for me is I'm used to being the head guy with the league, with the Reds. And now I have to serve. You don't have to go through anybody. No. You just now, but you now you got a chain of command. Got to follow that chain of command. A yeah, bit. I mean, yeah, I mean, I you know I make all the decisions. So now I am a part of a baseball program, program. and I I'm here to make the varsity better ultimately. So that's the hardest thing is just getting. Um, but I think there's a lot of great things I can learn myself through sure. doing that. Being around those I guys. think it's going to make me well-rounded, uh, overall better manager, coach. What do you like the most about coaching these JV players right? Right now, coach of JV baseball. Well, you know, I've only lost maybe I've lost three games or four games in five years with the Reds. Hmm. See, We've a lot gone of people undefeated three years, times yeah. in the league. So here I am with a team that's 0 and 28 at in two years. They haven't won in two years. Uh, there's a kid named Daniel Lee who's going to probably play first base. He hasn't won a game since he's been at Western. So I have, you know, I have wanted a challenge and prayed for a challenge mm -hmm. and you got it and I got I'd rather be the underdog than be on top and be worried about you know are we gonna get beat are we gonna see or we lose you know? you're, you're pleased the potential building possibility yes I I am more of a builder and a GM than anything in my heart you're so. gonna be able to take it you guys lose some oh, games yes. you can take it yes yes I, I have that in me I'm not a sore loser or uh, I will, there will be plenty of teaching opportunities uh, with all the kids. I mean, I'm helping the varsity, everybody, the whole program. How does a typical practice run? JV's practice first? JV's start in 30 minutes, warm up, go hit, stuff like that. And then, and then uh, the, while, they're, while they're hitting, the varsity's warming up. They start about 30 minutes later. And then we do infield stuff together. Then the varsity will hit. You do a few things together. Yeah, you know, the infield we do together, which I, which I like. Because mm -hmm. Coach Wood's very good at those sorts of things. And Mark Nels has been great because he played infield at AT. Mark Nels. Yeah. He's a highway patrolman, but he, he, told me about that, he yeah. came out today in his uniform and, and uh, observed, you know, and uh, helped out a little bit. But Adam Swim helped quite a bit, too. Yeah, catcher, pitcher, yeah. So, I, you know, I always said I wanted to have a good staff. I mean, Adam's got the catching and pitching. Mark's got the infield. So. We got Michael Dimmick next. I know but, it's kind of brief. You're not, but to, let me finish up. You close? My final close. thoughts are your question you asked about being 0-28. I welcome that challenge. I am excited about it. And not only doing that, but 
of building character with these guys and, and, um, and you know, changing the culture at Western Guilford. I tell them about the 84-85 team, you know, the Jimmy Duncans, the Kevin Manns, the, you know, the Jeff Leonard's. And the uh, Jerry Russells. And the Jerry Russells. So, uh, you know, I think I, I think everything's in place from, from Causey being the AD has been phenomenal to Wood to the JV program and us being in sync now. And so. Hunter Ridge is the assistant basketball coach at Asheville. Pick that up. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. Interesting young man, Hunter Ridge, your man yes, from last week, yes, assistant yeah. basketball coach at yes. Asheville Zoo. Yeah, that was so they got to get you involved in some other sports over there. <laughs> got to get you involved maybe yeah. in some other work. So, but it's it's exactly what I need. I, I'm excited about starting from the bottom. Yeah. Saturday, what back. time? Uh, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. at Eastern Guilford. At Eastern Guilford. What time does the bus leave? Uh, 9 a.m. If you're not Be there, there at 8.30. If you're not there at 8.30, you're left. You missed the bus. Take care of it, Coach. You. Appreciate it. Coach, you. he had a dad, okay. JV coach, right. Western Guilford. Like, look you. at that top. He's got Western Guilford looking sharp there tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Michael Demick next. Mr.